Welcome back to NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade. We're here at Joseph Eccles Hall on a Saturday night after the Spartans defeat South Carolina State 87-74 with the win. Spartans take over second place in the MEAC. Right now we're here with senior Deshaun Taylor. And Deshaun, you guys were on fire in the first half. 51 points, shot 60.6%. I mean, what was working for you coming out of the gates like that? I'm um, shooting the three ball, you know. In practice, we've been getting up a lot of shots. Um, we've definitely been harping on sharing the ball a lot, so I think that really helped us out in the game. Yeah, and speaking of threes, you hit 10 in that first half alone. Tied the school record with 14. Did you guys know d late in the game there that you were getting close to that record? It's a record you guys set at the par earlier this year, so. Actually, we didn't. Um, I was uh, notified that the shot I had in the corner that I missed would have been the one that actually gave us the um, record, so I'm kind of mad I missed it. But, you know, we have more games to play, so I think we'll be able to get it. Yeah, you tied that record, and you tied the record for most three-point attempts as well, so you guys were seeing it out there. Um, kind of in the second half, you know, they made South Carolina State made a little run there, got to within 11. Um, they slowed you down. What did they do kind of in the second half that did kind of slow you down there a little bit? Um, I think we didn't do a good job when they trapped us. Um, we didn't handle pressure very well, so that's going to be something we probably work on either tomorrow or uh, later on this week coming up. So, yeah, we're definitely going to work on that. You're talking about sharing the ball. Six players in double figures. Uh, Chuck had 19. You had 13. Uh, Robinson had 13. Alex, Preston, and Jonathan each had 10. So this is the fifth ga third game in a row that you guys had at least five double-digit scores. Mm -hmm. So what does that kind of say about your team that you guys are able to go out and do something like that? Um, bench production is very important, you know. Um, we believe in each other. We think that if we give you the pass and you're open, you're going to make it. So we just want to keep rolling with that. And, of course, this was a game. Did you guys kind of know coming into this game that, I mean, starting early off, it was just an up and down the court. It looked like everyone, you guys were going to be winning 120 to 115 was going to yeah. be the final score. Did you guys kind of expect that coming into the game? Yeah, you know, um, we have pretty two high-octane offenses. Um, I think we averaged 80 points coming into the game. They averaged 79. So we know it was going to be an up and down game. You talked about uh, coming up, uh, you got Savannah State on Monday. They lost to Hampton by it was at least more than 20 uh, tonight. Um, you know, obviously, you guys now have second place. You know, Hampton still won, so they're undefeated. So you guys are right on their trail. What's going to be kind of key going into Monday against Savannah State? What do you know about them, and what's going to be key to get a win? I'm um, just focused. You know, we got scouting report coming up tomorrow. We got to watch a lot of film. Uh, so it's just focus. It's a quick turnaround for us. So once we be mentally prepared, we think we can do whatever we want. You guys went last weekend. You defeated uh, Central at Central. Mm -hmm. Defeated A&T. Uh, came back from 10-point deficit at the halftime to beat A&T, and then beat South Carolina State, who kind of had been on a roll here. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is this kind of guys? What is these wins doing for your confidence now uh, as we get into the uh, get closer here to February in the last stretch of the season? I was definitely building our confidence. Um, I talked about bench production. I think that's extremely important for us to win the MEAC tournament. So as long as we keep rolling with what we got, I think we'll be fine. Senior Deshaun Taylor after the Spartans' 87-74 to win over the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. And again, the Spartans will be back here at Joseph Eccles Hall on Monday as they face Savannah State. Women's game will start at 6, and the men's game will start at 8 or approximately 30 minutes after the conclusion of the women's game. And for all your information this year on NSU uh, men's basketball, keep checking back at NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.